Hi everyone, and welcome to this week's session of Thinking as a Coder. Um, again, this is going to end up being a pre-record because as we're speaking, I will be having a bit of an emergency tooth out. Uh, so do feel for me. Um, so I thought, you know, again, I would just get this session out uh, to try something a little bit different today. So uh, I may well interrupt this session as I'm speaking now, if I'm able uh, to speak, if it was a little bit early. But if uh, you're watching the full recording of this, it is because uh, I'm incapable of actually speaking. I'll probably be able to still type some answers to any chats that you have during this. Uh, but uh, I'll be back next week with the ability to speak a little bit better this week. So uh, appreciate your understanding for why I'm not able to do this one live this week. So let's get straight to it. What are we going to do this week? So I'm going to go to the uh, the page. As always, um, if you go to Thinking as a Coder, uh, which you can do uh, easily by doing digital.edu.j, uh, if I move that up slightly so you can see it, um, you'll be able to go to the website, Thinking as a Coder. Now, what I've added uh, this week is two extras here. I've added a uh, micro bit make code and micro bit Python editor. Uh, we'll be using the Python editor today as well as the make code, but I really want us to start trying to use a Python editor if we can. Now this is to do with uh, robotics. So if you do a Google search for uh, the micro bit and just have a look at some of the images and things that you might see there, this is a tiny little device that actually was given out to all of year seven years and years and years ago and is being given out to a lot of year sixes this year. Uh, lots of Jersey schools will be getting them. Um, and they're really great devices. It's about 15-ish pounds. I'm not entirely sure. It depends where you get them from. And there's two versions of it. And they've got loads of things like microphones, speakers, lights, compasses, accelerometers, different pins, uh, Wi-Fi, uh, not Wi-Fi, Bluetooth in, in them as well. Uh, really great device for a small amount of cash. And you can do loads of robotics with them. You can design stuff. You can even do gaming with them. There's uh, this uh, lovely device I've got from a company called... Uh, Electrics uh, that do a kind of gaming one that you can do. So we may deep dive into this at later stages, but a phenomenal tool, really easy to use. And we're using it because it's got two real uh, ways of using it. And if you click first on the make code link, and you can even type in uh, makecode.microbit.org as well, or just click on that link uh, that you've got there, it will take you to this homepage where there are lots of tutorials about how to use it and you don't even need the micro bit itself just actually trying to see if i've got one on the desk i've been building in fact uh, an entire uh, run of them in fact uh, if you if i drag this in from the other page uh, i've made this um, stack for schools in the island that have got the set of 30 and uh, that's the micro bits there and uh, yeah i've got this as a laser cut example so really easy to use, but you don't need a physical device. Like right now today, when we click on new project and you might just want to call it test for your first one or my first project, it will take you to this uh, instruction page. Again, it will give you loads of instructions for a tour. Don't need it. I'm going to be taking you through this tour today. And they're really easy things you can do. So here's the micro bit on the side. And I can go to basic and I can say show a heart and then give it a second and it will show a heart here, nice and easy. You've just made your first thing. But if you want to make a blinking, we do blinkers, when we do uh, Python code, we do hello world. Uh, when you do kind of robotics or these kind of things, we try and do blink as the first code. And instead of doing that, I can bring, bring in, uh, on start, I can bring in a heart, then nothing, and then that's it. Or I can drag it in here to forever, to make a loop as we've talked in Python before. And we can see here that we've got a blinking heart. Now it's not the best blinking heart in the world because we should really define the time in between. So I should go to basic and I should drag in a pause here. And I can drag another one or right click and duplicate. And I can drag another one in here. And then that's got my heart and it's got the uh, blink of 100 milliseconds, which is a tenth of a second, a thousand milliseconds is a second. Uh, we could make a smaller heart here, actually, like this, 
and it could be like a beating heart not the best heart in the world there but you'll get the point here that's like my beating heart almost probably a better version of that that you could do um but why this is good is this is the easy one called make code um which allows you to do this drag and drop but and so have a go and feel free to uh, have a go at those um instructions we we're having go before but we're trying to learn coding so you'll see here at the top where we've got blocks we can drag that down and choose python or you can see what it looks like in javascript another language and that is what this code if i zoom into that now that's what this code looks like as python so you might go well do you know what it's easier to use blocks and that's fine it is easier to use blocks so you can do blocks all the way, but when you start doing more complex programs with this, it's sometimes easier to copy and paste whole sections of this rather than having to drag and drop um, loads more blocks in. So having to drag loads, keep clicking here, click down, scroll here, click remembering where things are, it can get a little bit annoying as you get better at this. So by all means, play around with the blocks. And like I said, go back to the make code, maybe have a go at some tutorials. I've already done flashing heart for you there. You've got name tags, smiley buttons, dice, uh, all these different uh, things that you can do here are some really complicated ones like a pet hamster, um, a cat napping. It's got temperature sensor, light sensor in it. So loads of different things you can play around with as well as all of these examples that we have here. So we could get really deep dive into this but the purpose of today's session is looking at think as a coder is actually using the micro bit python editor because while this editor's okay to do python it's not the easiest to use what is actually the easiest to use is the full-on python editor so if you click on that and again you could type in straight away python.microbit.org which will take you straight to this editor. I'm just allowing the cookies here. There's again, an explanation of video of how to use this, but in today's session, I'm gonna take you through that. So while we've got this uh, concept here, which looks very similar to what we had before, and again, we can press play to get uh, a heart, then a sleep, as it says here, if I scroll in or zoom into this a little bit more, and then it says, hello. So we're going to go through how we would do different items uh, for this. But the reason why this Python code editor is better is because when we click in this area, we can drag in blocks of code, which makes this really a lot easier to use. So if I want to do some loops, I can come in here and look at that. That's got my loop straight away uh, within it. Uh, so it saves me having to write things in pure Python like I would if I did this one. So if I go back into my test and go to the Python version here, I'll have to write all that out manually rather than using the Python blocks that I've got in the Python editor. So they do the same job, but one's just a little bit easier than the other. So I'm going to go to uh, cut now to a, a video that I've pre-prepared for this using the Python python editor um but again like i said think of me with my tooth uh, <laughs> that i'm going to have out uh, a bit of an emergency so uh, it's a bit of a shame i'm not looking forward to it tomorrow which is now for you so i'll be uh, i'll be there having that done now laughing about it now but probably not while you're watching this video so watch the video have a go as i'm going through as always like i say it's likely that i'll be able to chat uh, just not speak as you're doing this so i'll see you next week in live again follow the rest of this video thank you very much